What is conservation? In the last video, we learned about birds that lived at sea, where the sea was their habitat. In this video, we are going to learn about woodlands. Woodlands are a habitat for many animals. You may wonder, is there any difference between woodlands and forests? And the answer is yes. Woodlands tend to be smaller than forests, and the gaps between the trees are usually quite large. Forests tend to be bigger than woodlands, and they have a lot more trees closer together here. This is important because it impacts how much sunlight gets to the ground under the trees. When there are more trees closer together, the forest is more closed, meaning there are less gaps for sunlight to get in. Remember, plants need sunlight to grow, so this will affect what kind of plants can grow here. When you think of a woodland, you may imagine lots of birds. Lots of birds here will make nests in trees using twigs and other things, like this goldfinch. Woodpeckers peck holes in trees. They do this to find food, but they also peck holes to nest in. Other birds, like these great tits, find holes that are already in trees and make their nests in these. Oak trees are a very common tree here in the UK. They grow from acorns. Many oak trees live to be around 250 years old, but they can live up to 500 years old. Lots of animals like to eat these acorns, such as squirrels, mice and jays. Jays plant these acorns to store them underground for winter, but sometimes they forget where they are and so oak trees grow. Trees in woodlands can be either deciduous or evergreen. Evergreen trees can also be called coniferous. Evergreen trees have small, thin, needle-like leaves that are always on the tree, but they're not great to eat. Evergreen trees produce pine cones which have good seeds in them, but you have to be specialised to get the seeds out, like this nuthatch. Deciduous trees change colour throughout the year. In autumn the leaves turn orange and eventually they all fall off. Fungi are really interesting. They're not plants or animals, they're kind of in between. They grow mainly in autumn on the ground, on rocks and on trees. They help break down dead leaves and turn it back into nutrients in the soil. In spring, wildflowers come up, like bluebells which come out at the end of April. Butterflies like this orange tip love them. Lots of animals come out at night in the woodland, such as badgers. Badgers live in family groups underground called sets. They come out at night and their black and white stripes helps them stay camouflaged in the moonlight. Bats are another nocturnal animal that come out at night and eat insects, therefore they are pest controls. Mice and voles also live in woodlands. These guys come out at night to forage for seeds. Owls are nocturnal birds. This is a tawny owl, the one that goes twit twoo. They're very skilled hunters of these small mammals. You may have noticed this dead tree. When trees die, they can fall over and they become home to a whole host of new animals. Under the log, you might find things like beetle larvae, woodlouse, spiders and more. So as we can see, woodlands are a very important habitat for many different animals, large and small.